Hello everyone, welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to explore this data flow gen 2 and the data pipeline. Both are under data factory in this Microsoft Fabric area. Okay. What is our learning objective? First, we will create the lake house, then we will learn how to create this data flow gen 2 and how we can add some more uh, variable in that uh, data flow gen 2 and then we will create one data pipeline and finally we will load the data using this data pipeline from this data flow gen 2 to lake house ok let's proceed to the microsoft fabric area so i am in microsoft fabric first we need to create the workspace ok so let me select this data engineering area and workspace new workspace and give me the name training 9 click on apply so our workspace is there first we need to create one lake house so lake house and let me give some name there for example um, superstore okay create so our lake house is created successfully so we'll go back to this workspace training 9 Okay, now we will select one data flow gen 2. Okay, this is our data flow gen 2. Let me show you one thing. If I select from here, if I select this data factory area, here you will find it out that under this data factory area, we have this data flow gen 2 and this data pipeline. Okay, so let me select this one. Okay, let me modify the name. For example, it's a data flow. I'm giving the name as a superstore. Okay, now uh, there are different options. Like we can import the data from Excel from SQL server, from CSV file, from data flow and also you can select this get data from another source also. It's similar to our data flow uh, which we have already used in our uh, Power BI area. So this is the data flow gen 2 version. Okay. Now I'm going to select this CSV file area. You will find some difference between this data flow and data flow gen 2 and you can compare. Mostly this data flow gen 2 is much more powerful in compare with the normal data flow. And obviously this data flow gen 2 is part of the Microsoft Fabric. So we have to be uh, upgraded to this Microsoft Fabric version. Then only we can get the access for this data flow gen 2. Now. Uh, here I need to provide some file path. So for the time being I am using there is one file in this github area. This is my github folder area where I will upload all the csv file or any other data set I am using for my fabric tutorial. So this is the one csv file I uploaded and I am going to use this directly this csv file to uh, in this data flow gen 2 itself. Let me copy this url and paste it here. Okay, so connection is automatically created. Select then next. So our data has been uh, uploaded and it's a preview section. It's a similar way. We have already uh, up. It's a similar type of visualization which already we have seen in our uh, earlier data flow section. So let's create. Okay, here will have this diagram view also how you can enable or disable this diagram view if you go to this view section if you select this diagram view okay this diagram view will be there so here you will find out all the journey like csb 
then how it has been loaded then the change time for the time being I'm just uh, hiding this area okay now I can select this query setting area query setting area is uh, where we have this applied step and all those things okay now for example I just want it to change this order date so because it's showing the text will based on this column I can add some custom columns also so let me change the type for this uh, field and this is a date column let me select something using locally okay because some of the time it's giving a error uh, the data format okay so first let me select this a D date and and I'm selecting this United Kingdom time zone okay okay so here it's like if we have this type of value if you see here we have this 22 slash 11 so this time zone is uh, like the date slash month slash year okay so I'm selecting this United Kingdom time zone here and okay okay so this step has been uh, inserted here now I'm going to create some custom column is a similar thing add column custom for example let me select something order year date dot year within bracket order date and let me select as a whole number okay So another steps has been in, inserted here. So order here is there. Now uh, you can add some more customization or some more transformation in this area. It's similar to our Power Query Editor and our data flow itself. Now I want to add some destination here. Okay, so right now this data I've added all the transformation, but where exactly it's going to be loaded? Okay. I need to put some destination area so here I'm going to select this plus sign and select the lake house so you can load it to warehouse Azure data explorer Azure SQL database everywhere so I'm going to select this lake house and just first the lake house none next because already is uh, authentication is their organization account and from here this training nine I'm going to use this lake house superstore so by default you can change the table name here the table name will be US superstore data for example I can add something store or super store table okay. now next okay so automatically it will take all the data type from that our data flow chain too so you can cross check here like this is our source area so this is this will be the destination data type for example the date whatever I've changed so it's reflecting the date only okay so I'm not going to change anything else uh, decimal and everything is there let's save the setting okay now if you in the meantime if you want to check the data uh, diagram so just go back to this view section and diagram view okay here you can see that we have added this year and we have added this lake house also this icon is there so everything is uh, already there my destination is there now I'm going to publish this one so this data flow gen 2 is there and it's uh, right now it's refreshing the data normally we have seen the similar thing in our data flow area also okay so my data flow is refreshed here okay now it's time to create the data pipeline so from here I'm going to select this data pipeline let me give some name here so pipeline and 
just giving as a name store data create okay this is our data pipeline area where we can create one new uh, canvas means like a new data pipeline or we can go through some assistant so for this case i need to create a new data pipeline okay i am going to select this pipeline activity okay when i am selecting this one it's asking for some option like i need to put like from where this data will come then all those information i am going to select here the data flow okay so the first step is the data flow step okay so those are the things are like different steps so for, for me the first step is the data flow let me give some name here data flow pipeline 1 okay now you can put some description and all those things but uh, shed now we are in this settings section here these are the mandatory field the workspace which already selected here now I need to provide the data flow name here so in your workspace there could have multiple data flow so let me select the we have only one so I'm selecting this one okay everything is fine let me save this pipeline okay now I'm going to run this pipeline so uh, before running this pipeline let me explain you like already we have the lake house and using our data flow we have loaded the file data whatever we have in that uh, csv file we have loaded to lake house already okay but in future in that csv file if you are up appending some more records and then you just need to click on this uh, data pipeline and then automatically the data will be loaded to your lake house table so that is our automation purpose so this data pipeline will help us to do this automated data loading process okay so let me run this one and check this output area okay this is the in progress it should be succeeded let's wait for a little bit some time so it has been run successfully okay let's go to this training area okay my pipeline is there and this is our lake house area so let me open this lake house okay so this is our table now from this video i hope you understand how you can create the lake house okay then you will create the data flow gen 2 in that gen 2 you can do all your etl transformation logic there you can directly connect with the external data sources okay then you can put all your transformation logic and everything now then you can set up this lake house as your destination folder then to automate the process you can select this pipeline so this is completely one uh, set of job for a data engineer prospective so you can do uh, all the etl jobs through this microsoft fabric if you like this video please share with your friend and colleague and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching